Okay, so guys, we did a simulating, as you can see, the step input for 45 degree. I said pi over 4 because everything we are here as a radian. Huh? Uh, for this pendulum with this transfer function, S square plus G, and assuming that the M and L, they are 1, and numerator is the same. And we designed the PID controller based on your bus requirements that it said I want to have a critically damped system and natural frequency of uh, routine score of 12. And we ended up with the P and this D as we designed together in the previous classes. And after running that, we saw that we have what? We have a steady set error signal. We added I, for example, I said 5, and uh, we ran that. And then I added the step input to the system. Mm -hmm. We delayed step input at 4 seconds, and the value is 2. Huh? And I mathematically showed to you that I part not only removes the steady state error signal, also rejects the disturbance of the system. So we're running a game for you. And I also added here a gain. You can add from library uh, your uh, um, 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 math. Where is math? Oh, math operation. So I added the gain. See here, here. I added and, and dragged and put it here. Why? Because uh, the out real output and the desired input are being uh, in the previous classes we saw in the radian, but I just added by 180 or pi to make it to degree when you see it, okay? That's why we saw with this. You see that we have a, a disturbance at the fourth second, exactly. So the eye controller not only rejects the steady state error signal goes to zero also what um, remove the steady state error signal also reject the disturbance you see here that's right so um, so we concluded that and here i just copied and pasted and i here i added a ramp disturbance ramp slope one is starting at four seconds huh? Ramp disturbance and uh, I tuned some numbers like here, like a P is 80, I as 150, and the D as 55. Okay, and uh, you see that it's acceptable performance. The yellow output follows the input and reject disturbance at the four seconds. Okay, and if you look at one of the things that I want to show you here, guys, is U, right? This is the control command, guys, coming from, I don't know, 100 to 500, and then going to steady state value here to keep that pendulum as 45 degree. If I zoom this out, uh, here we go, yeah. At how much? At, uh, say, 8 Newton meter. Okay, the torque is that. Okay. And the torque of here for the ramp is this. See here? A negative value. And steady state is negative value. Yeah. Okay. Negative value. So, and this is the, oh, this is, I'm sorry, this is error signal, this. Almost zero, very close to zero, but negative value. And this is a huge value of disturbance, uh, torque to reject disturbance, ramp disturbance. Okay, here we go. And if you zoom it out, the value is almost like the previous case, is uh, seven, uh, six point six, six point six point five. So the value is oscillating like that. So I'm going to share this with you, and now you know how to do it with PID controller. Hmm. Now let me go. Yes, let me go for MATLAB coding because Simulink is for linear systems. When you graduate, you barely have linear systems, guys. Okay. So how you have to you have to know how to uh, develop a code not only for PID. 
when you go to grad school for adaptive control, I don't know, name it for sliding mode control, for model predictive control, for whatever, prescribed time control. Okay, so you have to, I'm going to teach you how to develop PID in the code. Then you can have this sample huh, after graduation. Just replace your controller here and you run it. So this is inverted pendulum. Hmm? Was here. I want to keep this at 45 degree. Here. Theta D is pi over 4. Now you know it because I drive it at the beginning of this semester and I promised you that I'm going to back today one day that some of the moments around point O is I O theta double dot the only force acting on this mg so you're going to have and this is the control torque or u i want to control it at 45 keep it at 45 degree and then at the end by code hopefully by the next class i'm going to make a movie of this in the matlab by coding okay so it's going to be minus mg l sine theta because here is L sine theta and here is L length y minus I'm sorry plus y plus because this is helping the motion I want to come here and this is helping the motion I tell you plus u equals to ml square particle pendulum theta double dot so you get ml square Theta double dot minus mgl sine theta is equal to u. And then dividing everything by, you know, ml square, you're going to have g over l. The only difference between pendulum and this is the sign. The other case was what? u over ml square. Today I'm going to design PID controller and run it for this nonlinear system also, not only linear. But you know that around the equilibrium point of zero, huh, you can write this as this. Theta double dot make it linear. Minus g over l. Why I'm not saying natural frequency? Because system is not stable. Minus. Now you know it. Theta is u over ml square. I assume that m is one kilogram. L is one meter. Huh? Huge pendulum. So I'm gonna this u. So this is gonna be theta double dot minus g theta is u. This is a linearized version. I'm gonna use this for designing PID controller and put in a MATLAB. Okay, MATLAB coding. Then I'm gonna use the same command u inside this to see difference. To see difference for it's not linear version. So this also going to be u because ml is 1. So let's do that. Now you know that uh, applying the Laplace transform. This is the conclusion of this uh, class, guys. I can say, uh, except uh, Ruth Lucas that I'm going to teach you next week. This is conclusion of this class. So L, Laplace. So you're going to have uh, theta s square minus g is u of s i'm dropping everything so theta real output over control input is one over s square minus g obviously you have um, unstable open load transfer function because poles are plus minus root of square of g one of them in the right hand side sucks right uh, so you have this theta d 45 degree you have to design a PID but not in simulink today in math and coding this goes to the open loop transfer function of 1 over s square minus g here is u and this is real angle of the pendulum unity feedback here we go and this is e
Okay, this is linearized version. This is now your boss says, Can I go to the next page? Can I go? Everybody? Your boss says, you know what, Elizabeth, I want that you design critically damp system again. Because for the robot like system, we don't want to have oscillation under that. It means zeta is one. I don't want to have you have a um, national frequency of one radian per second. National low internal oscillation. I'm gonna say okay. Let me first do PD as we did in the previous case. PD. I'm gonna say KP plus KDS uh, goes inside open loop transfer function. So, I just only show this part of the block diagram. Now, theta over theta d, close the transfer function, now you know it. This is Cg. Is Cg 1 plus, um, sorry, g and 1 plus Cg. Because this is your new G. Your new G is CG. As we did in the previous class. So it's going to KP plus KDS. S square minus G gravity. 1 plus KP KDS. See, I'm starting from dynamics today. This is from dynamics. I then come to linearization from mathematics, then I enter to linear control. So close the transfer function gonna be KP KDS. Now you know it. We have done this together. S square plus KDS plus KP minus G. Okay, as you know. P is adding damping to the system. We are missing S here. We were missing S. Here was zero S. This added S here and also tuned the national frequency. Now you know it. I taught in second order system. This is two zeta omega n. This is omega n square. Your bus says I want to have natural frequency one. So KP minus G is omega n square. Omega n square, your boss says I want to have one. So from here you get KP is one plus G. Assuming G is 10, gonna be 11, your KP. From there, you want to have this. KD is two zeta omega on your bus set critically down system two multiplied by one multiplied by one your kd is two okay so if you just replace it here inside this characteristic equation when you go to grad school we name this as characteristic equation when you go to linear control systems in grad school its name is Karak Characteristics equation. If you go to grad school, have it from me. If you put it here, it's going to be s square plus 2s, kp is 11, minus 10 plus 1. I'm going to remind you, row of the stability criteria, all coefficients exist and positive. Bingo. And you know from high school, this is s plus 1 square. You have a pair of repeated poles from high school, minus one. So your system is what? Critically damped. You made from fully unstable system a critically damped system by this PD. Right? 
So obviously I'm going to select the eye controller like this. Can I go to the next page? Hmm? I'm going to say, okay, KI, I want to add eye controller. I'm going to say three from the four. I'm going to tune later, okay? Why? Because if I have a disturbance in the MATLAB code, rejects it. If I have a steady state error signal, removes it. Good. But this is MATLAB. This is not Simulink anymore. We designed PID controller like this. But you know, in time domain, I said U is KPE plus KDE dot plus KI integration of EDT because when you are writing the ODE in MATLAB, it's not Simulink anymore. Remember that I applied the Laplace transform here and we came to this KP plus KDS plus KI over S in EFS. Remember? In Simulink version. But we are not there. We want to work with this in math because ODE. Okay. Okay, guys, here. What is error signal? Tell me. You tell me. Look at here. Plus, minus. Look at here. Let me know what is error signal. Is theta d desired minus real theta? That's right. Yes, everybody? Yes? Okay. I'm going to exactly write in MATLAB code. Exactly as I'm writing here. Okay. I'm going to say, okay. E is, I have to divide my code is theta d minus uh, mm, minus real theta what is your theta d i said i want to give it that 45 pi over 4 minus theta exactly i'm going to write in this method bear with me remember that i developed ode huh look at here so i'm going with linear version minus g theta is a call to you, not magic. I'm working with this. Remember ODE that I developed in the beginning of the semester? So I said M1 is theta, state variable. M2 is theta dot, state variable. Remember I defined this to all of you? Yeah? So having time derivative, you're going to have exactly on time in MATLAB. The M1 is theta dot. Theta dot is M2. And DM2, time derivative, is theta double dot. Theta double dot from this equation is how much? Theta double dot from the original equation is control command plus G theta. But everything is based on, is based on state variable, M1. So this is going to be u plus m1 so in the MATLAB exactly we're going to type this in ODE dm1 is equal to m2 dm2 going to be u that we're going to define in MATLAB code plus m1 I told you I'm going to compare the control command with linear and nonlinear then I'm going to put nonlinear in MATLAB today and next class. This is nonlinear M4 and DM4 is yet the same. I'm increasing that. Is U plus M3. This is nonlinear. And here's a G. I forgot that. G. You got it, everybody? Now, so E is. Pi over 4 minus theta. What is theta? What is theta? M1. State variables. I have to now define a MATLAB code E dot. E dot gonna be theta dot D from high school minus theta dot. What is time derivative of 45 degree? Zero. 
minus theta dot. What is theta dot in state variable? M2. So E dot, I'm going to exactly type as minus M2. MATLAB code. This, very interesting. How to define integration in MATLAB? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to write like this. I say E of int. Exactly, I'm going to type in MATLAB code. going to be. I'm going to define a counter about that. I'm going to say con is counter plus 1. In every time that is runs, I'm going to do this as con. going to be. Hmm? I'm going to put E first. So every E that you are putting here, gonna in every counter, going to go inside as a vector, as a, a huge vector. Like this 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, minus 0.4. This is how we, how we generate a vector from numbers in MATLAB. Okay? After that, I'm going to say, E of integration, there's a command in MATLAB is SUM. SUM means integration from high school, guys. Remember when I was teaching you PID? I said area under the curve, SUM. SUM of E I N T, exactly MATLAB multiplied by, I'm gonna say, time step. I'm gonna define it in MATLAB. For example, time step is 0.10. So now you have E, it, E dot, and integration of E dt. There we go. Just multiply by the numbers I designed, you have U. Simple like that. Let me visualize to you. Visualized, yes. Let's go. I'm gonna say script. Say function. This is how we write in MATLAB. DM as DM in the sub is equal to uh, designing PID inverted pendulum time and state variable M. There we go. I'm gonna save it. You know that this name and that must be the same. You don't have to change it. Here we go. Now I'm going to say DM, as you know, generating space, 4 and 1. I taught you all of this. You have it. You have the codes. You have four state variables. Look at here, guys. For linear, for nonlinear. Okay. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to say G is 10, not 9.81. L is 1. We don't need it. I'm just typing. To know that uh, uh, the physical and geometrical uh, properties of uh, inverted pendulum. And I'm going to say we are controlling inverted pendulum to keep it at 45 degree. There we go. Hmm? Then uh, I say KP. We designed this how much? We designed together. Um, where is KP? KP eleven, KD two. I'm just exactly type here. KP eleven, KD is uh, KD is two, and the KI is set how much? KI. Four. Here we go. Yes. Yeah. I want to make sure that there are one, two, and four. Okay. Now we have to make e as I promised you. E one. I'm I'm telling you why e one. I'm saying that. E one is I said. Okay. I'm saying theta desired. I'm defining as pi over four, forty five degree. Theta desired minus 
minus, bear with me. First, I have to type this. dm1 is equal to m2. dm2 equals to u1 for linear system. I'm just typing here. Right here. This is a linearized inverted pendulum. U plus G multiplied by M1. Here we go. As I told you, I just typed it here. Look at here. Exactly I typed here. Okay. Okay. Now, E is theta. These are minus real theta. Real theta is M1. I'm exactly like type here, M1. Here we go. Now I'm saying DE1, E dot. As I told you, is M2, minus M2. Look at here, we drive together. Theta dot is M2. Minus M2. Is uh, minus M2. Now, I have to generate the counter. I'm going to say con equals to con plus one. Bear with me. Then you have to, I'm going to teach you why. I'm going to make it global. Global con. See, it's conning. Now I'm saying E in one con. See, I'm, I'm now gathering all the E1s inside this vector. E1. I'm going to show it to you. Okay. Pause. You're going to see what I'm saying. Pause. So, E int 1, int 1. Then I be sum, as I told you, means integration. E in 1 multiplied by T step. I'm going to define T step later. Okay. I'm going to make it T step layer. I'm going to define in the next file for solver. Okay. So U1 for linear system, I'm typing here U for linearized system, linearized inverted pendulum. Huh? Going to be KP as we defined there, multiplied by E1 plus KD multiplied by DE1, DE1 plus KI that we designed all of these mathematically by this integration of EDT. There we go. This is U1. U1 goes here. Bear with me because you have to talk about these globals and cons. Now I'm going to solver. You know how I do it. Clear. Always do this. Clear. I'm going to share it with you. Clear and close all. Always doing the math uploading. Close all. I'm going to say T and theta. Solver OD equals to solver ODE45. Call this file. Hmm? Call this file. Or, uh, I don't know, point T step time of running, that's right, 15 seconds. So now I'm going to say global T step. Now I'm going to define time step between the increasing time, point zero 01. There we go. And then I'm going to save it. PID inverted pendulum solver at the same directory. See now T step is here and also T step goes here. Here we go. You define here but goes there. See what I'm saying? This is how global works. Then I'm gonna say con is zero. When I run this first take con zero but when I make it global global for the next runs for the next rounds, gonna add to the con one by one. So the first con gonna be one, two, three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, until whatever. So it's going to make a vector here. I'm going to open it to show it to you. Okay. And initial condition, uh, look at here. This is physics. This is not me. Starting from 0, going to 45 degree. So 0 and 0. 0 and 0 and 0 and 0 because I just um, now I'm showing only the linearized ODE. Okay, you have four. Okay, so now I'm gonna say figure one plot total time angle of pendulum first line and all the columns multiplied by pi over um sorry 180 and pi and blue i have to debug the code because it just developed with me and read obviously okay guys and um, first i'm going to show you two many things you see that l never is being used i'm going to make it as a comment m is not being used g is being used kpe kdk i want to just double check everything when i you define the desired angle you can change it here we're going to do that later so define this, double check everything. Uh, we put E here, E1 here, and then integration. See, this sum means integration sign E as a vector in DT. Now you are summing everything inside this vector is, that's right. And this is your KP E1, KD DE1, and KI E1 A and T, that's right. Okay, this e uh, underline int one is this is this integration of e d t. There we go. Okay. Okay. So let me run it first. Debug it. Okay, guys. Look at here. Now this E underline in one integration one is this. See this this line. Putting E ones here, okay, as a vector. See. Oh ah, one of the things I forgot to do. Good, I catch it here. Also, you wanna make this as a global value, okay? If you don't do that, you're gonna give such a putting look at here zero 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 and final is putting here okay you have to make it as global valuable when you put in the inside the counter okay now if i run it see here we go see it's changing see see guys six nine generates a huge what minus now okay Minus plus. See? Putting inside that. So, now let me remove it and debug the rest of the case. So, now it's sum ENT1 in time step. Uh, GM1. Now, let me see if the could corrects uh, okay. oh it shows with this gains it fails okay it fails guys okay so for that um let me remove ki It, it's interesting it's showing me angle of 450 okay you know it's stable but it's too much what do you think is wrong with this code right now guys what do you think is wrong with this code right now hmm? What do you think? Why it's showing 
Yeah, it's ready. Everything is ready. Let me show like this. Oh, now it's coming to how much? How much, guys? At almost 90 degree. So something is wrong with respect to this linearization. I want that to give me the answer. Let me pause it and. So what's wrong with this? Is that guys? What do you think? No. Guys, we linearized on on a stable system by itself. Listen to this very carefully. We linearized an unstable system. Okay, because this is unstable. This negative shows unstable. Linearization means around equilibrium point. See what I'm saying, everybody? Huh? So if we, if it if equilibrium point of zero is here physically, and there's no control command, it gonna stay there. It gonna stay there. No, it doesn't. See what I'm saying? So we linearize to help us design KPs. See here, KPs we design together. But you cannot keep it as nonlinear form of G and, and one and one G because this is wrong. This is nonlinear system by itself. See what I'm saying? We linearize around that. So now if I run the controller, guys, with sine M1, the original one. Minus G sine M1. The original one was this. Look at here. Where is that? Where is that? Here we go. G sine goes the other side plus. G sine theta M1. Now if I run this with these gains, you're gonna have this. You have a huge overshoot. Means like this comes 120. Here comes back and then goes at 45 degree. See here 45 degree. Exactly 45 degree. Okay. Now you design that, but it gives you huge overshoot. So how to fix it? What do you think, guys? How to fix that? I have to increase. So what? So look at. Let me tell you. Talk to you like this. Look at here, guys. This means a huge overshoot. Means we need what more to take it down? This overshoot. No damping. Damping. That's right. So damping is damping is which term? D. Say let us write ten. Uh huh? I'm not going to run it. Oh good. See coming down slowly. Okay. So more. I don't know. Set me to twenty-five. Just giving you some numbers, huh? 90 but it's now starting to have an oscillation like that huh so for that let me take this zero to see what happens first with this okay let me so we increase the guys kp to 90 okay and the kd to 25 and kept the ki as constant and now when we run this you see it's acceptable response and goes to 45 okay 65. and um, now let me plot 
guys i'm not done e1 plot con i want to i want to plot the error signal in the matlab code so i'm going to put this here actually i have it uh, e this i want to plot this okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to say figure and just have to make it global here okay figure two plot time and this grid oh i got it they are not the same lengths oh so you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna say time of plot con is time <laughs> i'm gonna make time of as a time p this is a trick in matlab so here i'm gonna time plot now if i run this What? Oh, con is. Oh, con is after that. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. Here we go, guys. And finally goes to zero. If I continue, let me show like this. Right it's eight to five. This is rough control, okay? See, error signal is starting from here and eventually goes to zero. If it continues, goes to zero. Understand? And uh, you can do the same with the control. Say u of plot con is u this. So, and you say up here, and you say up here, make it global, and then figure 3, bear with me, okay, don't leave, because I have to make too many things, so this is up, this is control command, from 70 like newton meter and goes and finally goes here. so just let me finish this before because we continue in this next class we are not done x uh, label is time oh 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 time um and uh, font time and this is y label is uh, theta and this is time e of t And this is time and the U of T. Okay. So now you have everything almost. Um, yeah. There we go. This is control command time. Also, you can, for if you want to make it very visualized, you can say uh, I forgot the commands I was doing. Uh, uh -huh, semi log x. See, semi log x. I think I think we have such a semi log x. Yeah, we have it. MATLAB. So, see here. 
See, it's plotting your command is visible, coming from 70, and then this is the value of that, stays value after you control it. You can do the same with the error signal, same like X. So we designed controller based on the linearization. We ended up changing the gains, but we ran for what? For original nonlinear system. Okay, this is U of T. This is error signal coming and finally goes to zero almost. Huh? And this is the angle. You can play with this uh, KPI to make it more sexy or whatever you want to do. Okay, even that you want to make it to, um, you want to keep it as uh, um, a 30 degree, okay, 30 degree, it must give you that. Your U is starting from 40, not 817, sorry, here we go, it's going to eventually to 30 degree. So this is how you code this, right? This is very raw code. You, you can tune this KP and KD and KI to have better response, this kind of things, okay? And um, now you can add a disturbance to the system. Say, you know what? I have a disturbance of if time is greater than 10, I will disturbance of 45 degree and I want to say after 10 seconds I have a disturbance D pi over 4 huh? like as a simulink let me see if it rejects that your your eye controller okay yeah rejects exactly at 10 seconds rejects that a uh, unit step disturbance I can't even make it bigger. I don't know. Two, five. See, we can see its effect. Yeah. But w look at this. How you can see that? The, from you, from the control command. See? At 10 seconds, see here this profile here. Okay, you can see from that is rejecting. So I don't want to do that for now because make it control R as command. But we are not done yet. Even that you go to 60 degree, it must go there. Area. Oh, control command is increasing to 90, starting 90 newton meter, and this is control command, and to 60 degree, eventually goes to 60 degree. See what I'm saying? So, you can now play with that. This is DE, the change. Stay like this because we are continuing this code. I'm not done yet. Okay, everybody. Now this is uh, non-linear inverted pendulum. You saw that linear version doesn't work here. Okay. So here we go. Now let us keep with whatever we designed. If I go back to the linear version, okay, it still works, okay? Because with the original KPD, it was not working, but with these ones, now it works with the linear. Now, let me go to nonlinear compare together. No, not now. Next class. Okay, next class. So we see with, with the original one that we linearized doesn't work, this KP and KD, because it was very linear version. So we changed it and now it works. 
But now I'm going to compare the next class. Then I'm going to make a simulation movie from here. In this one, I'm going to make a movie. And you can play in your uh, TV. Okay? I'm going to stop it here.